Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, on to the wiring series on the Land Rover. Can you guess what we're going to be hooking up today? All right, so we're going to be looking at the turning signals, the the relay, the switch, and everything to get it hooked up. It's actually kind of a really simple system. It's only one wire, power wire coming from the ignition side of the fuse box. It goes to the relay, and the rest of it is all self-contained with the switch and everything and the wiring. So. Big thank you to all the new subscribers and the subscribers that have been here forever. You guys are awesome. You're all awesome. Thank you for the positive words and sending me emails and everything and asking for the wiring diagram. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And let's get into hooking up these uh, turn signals. Thank you. I figured since we got the front lights done, turn signals, and the rear ones are now done, so now we'll, we'll hook up the the turning signals and we'll go over some little stuff here or whatever so instead of using the lucas uh turning signal relay uh the flasher relay or whatever you want to call it i have a bus it's called a bus 550 it's a bus 550 12 volt and it's a three prong um flasher relay so this is pretty cheap i think it cost me three bucks or something like that online off of rock auto and you can see it there it says bus 550 and it's a heavy duty relay so it'll work with just normal headlights so on here we have three different connections so how do we connect these three connections so we have let me go back to this Here's our three connections right here on top. And on there, they're actually marked one's X, one's P, and one's L. So this is a little drawing of it here looking at it. So 12 volt would be your 12 volt from your ignition key when you turn it on from your fuse box. P would go to your igni ignition, your, igni uh, your indicator on your stock, which is right here. If you didn't know that, this actually lights is supposed to light up on your uh, turn signal. So this goes up to your indicator. The second one, the L, goes to your turn signals themselves. So this one connection does all four lights, you know, two at a time, your left and your right, all in one shot or whatever. So inside the relay is actually an element inside here. So when you click on your turn signal, when you click it on, it heats up a little piece of metal in here and it starts clicking. So you'll notice when we turn it on, there'll be a slight delay and it'll warm up and then it'll start clicking. But there's a lot of power going through here. So it, it's real heavy duty and it'll always work and always be pretty strong too. So, so let's talk about, so that's the relay we're going to be using on the truck. So we got our wires coming out of here and we have our, Regular, our usual turning signal ones, the, the red green, which is the left hand turn, and then white green, which is your right hand turn. Yeah, this is your right, that's your left turn. So in your, inside the wire, inside it, oh, this is also a, a Tex Maglite um, turn signal from, I think it's Lucas that makes it, or maybe it's just Tex Magna is actually the brand or whatever light. So this was came on the truck whenever I got it, so it, it, I didn't have to buy a new one or nothing, but it still works really good. So the wiring come out, coming out. So this is your standard wires here for your turning signal, your left and right, like I said here. So then what you have coming out is you have a black-red, and black-red goes to your the little indicator, I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you right now. <laughs> so the black red goes to the little light, which is goes to your indicator, which connects to your indicator light, which is P. So the red black goes to there. Then you have a like a light green and it looks like a brown. Light green with a brown wire in there. So the light green one actually goes to your turning signal, which would be the L that's on your relay. So that connects to there. So those are those two. And then you have a black white. So the black white is actually ground. You put it to a ground, but I attached a brown wire because brown is ground according to my diagram. 
So I'm going to be running this over to the ground block. So we got the ground, we got our two connections to the relay, and then our turn signals here. So let's do a little test here. Let that sit there. And here's our turn signals, the ones we just took off. The extra ones, they're still good. They got bulbs in there. So I put bulbs in one. The other one didn't have one, but and anyways. So I connected it to our wires. We have our left and the right. And I also made a pigtail coming off with the right colors. So it splits off into the new wiring diagram. So you got two, you got your front and rear and then your front and rear coming out. So I got those connected to these lights here. The grounds are all together here in a brown, all the grounds coming here for my test. So let's connect the relay. And also I wrote on there T for turn signal. So once I put it inside the truck, I can see it. Turn signal, then your indicator, whoops, your indicator right there, and then plus your positive right there. So then whenever I look at this real easy. So we know our red black goes to the little light, which is the indicator right here, right there. And this goes to our turn, the, the light green one. So then this is our jumper coming over from our test battery. Just attach it onto there. Leave that sit there. Let me connect the battery. Okay, so we do one turn, left turn. See how there was a slight delay? Whenever you click it on, that's the, the relay warming up. And there's the other one. Let's see, you lift it up. See the little light in there flashing? You hear it clicking? All right, enough of that fun. So we have this all working. So then you can see that's working. So now we're going to go and put this into the truck. We're over at the truck. Here's the switch. The Tex is now installed. It only comes, it came with a, a little bolt down here and it pinches this bracket together here. Then this piece here actually rides on the edge of the steering wheel. There's a circle, like a cup on the end of it and it rides on there to cancel your, cancel it out. So you go left and right, right. And then when you turn the wheel it, it, it pops it back. So. Got this, we're in the wire down through, over to here, in through the hole. And here's the, let me move the light over like this. Here's the flasher relay. And what I did is I took a, a hose clamp, I drilled a hole through the side of it, and I put a screw into here to hold it in place. And um, so I didn't crank it down real tight or whatever. So it's just there to hold it in place. And you can see there, the markings are on there. So we got our wire. Here coming over like we talked about on the workbench and then green is here it's coming from the fuse box so when I turn the key on it'll power up the few um, the turn signals okay let's talk about the wiring here a little bit so here's our pigtails one's going to the the front right here and the other one's going to the back from the brake harness that the bundle of wires going to the back. So what I ended up doing is I put our turn, instead of putting a little piece of this color wire on the end of it, I just tagged it. That's good enough for me. So that's there. So we know it's right turn, our turn. And then red was the L turn, if you look at your wiring diagram. L is the turn. So I got those connected to the other other pigtail there for the right hand turn. So those are connected to the front and the rear. Front and rear. I know it's it's a mess here with all the wires, but they're organized. It's organized chaos is kind of what it is. So so those are hooked up and like I said, that's hooked up. So now the wiring for the turn signals is done. So come down here. You'll see all this in another video. <laughs> come down, turn a key on. There the ignition's on. Then we come over here. 
Hold up, let me get in position here. Okay. Okay, we're blinking. You kind of see there in the background there one of the lights, the left hand one. So that's blinking. We're over. You can hear it. It's blinking. So let's go around to look at the light. Okay, now I'm outside of the area here. So now you can see it's blinking. Test lights going on right here. These are the ones here. This is the left hand turn. Come walk into the back. Here we go. We got the left. Let's go to the right. Okay, there. Right. We got a blinking. That light's blinking, so we got the right. Let's go to the other side. And there we go. We got that side working. Well, that's the end of the video on the turn signals. Thank you for staying till the end, and I'd like to say a big thank you to the 700 subscribers. I just hit 700, and this morning I opened it up, and I was like, wow, I can't believe I hit that many. So thank you very much to all the subscribers. Uh, you guys have a good one, and get out there and start wiring and enjoying your Land Rover. All right, bye-bye.